So let's continue with these introduction tutorial videos. So let me recapitulate what we have discussed already. If I click here on the first icon, the repertories, you see the list of all the items which have more or less a repertory structure. And all these documents open in one tab. They open on top of each other. So if I would click here on the original Kent, you see with a little triangle that the Kent is on at the top and the synthesis here is at the bottom, but I click now on the synthesis and I put the synthesis back at the top. Then in references, if I click here on a document, for example, Alan Nozotes, it opens in a new tab. And if I would click on another one, let me do here, Banerjee, uh, Materia Medica Made Easy, you see that in the same tab, it opens this document also. So we have discussed already, if I click here next to the search button, we have already discussed these two items. The first one is that you look up symptoms where you know exactly where they are. So you know exactly the location. And this was searching from the position where you are. So I know exactly, let's say, fat aggravates is in generalities food and drink. So on the keyboard, I start to type first of the letters of the chapter. So I do GE, enter. FOO for food and drinks, enter. Then I do, for example, fat, enter, and aggravate, enter, enter, and there I am. So that is when you want to go to a location where you know it's exactly where it is. And we also have learned that you can click here in the symptom path or on the backspace to open search from the current position. So if I click here on food and drinks in symptom path, or I can do backspace, backspace, but I click on the food and drinks. It opens the find window from that position. So I could do, for example, butter, aggravate, enter, and there I am. Now I want to find symptoms in the repertory when I do not know exactly where they are located. So remember uh, this symptom, uh, when I double click on it here, head, pain, forehead in a spot. There are only three remedies and I want to search for symptoms uh, which have pain in a small spot in the head, but not necessarily in the forehead. Then I do search for words. And there is a simple search and an advanced search. The simple search is on the keyboard F4 or also on the keyboard the question mark and the advanced search is F5. And here the simple search is also at the top the search box. But don't worry, we will do them all. So I'm in synthesis. What I want to do now, I want to search for a pain in the head in small spots. I can type here at the top in the search box or on the keyboard, I press question mark. I myself prefer question mark. So I do on the keyboard question mark and I type pain, enter, spot, enter, and let's add head, enter. Now you see here is mentioned search in the current document only. Make sure you have the correct settings. I prefer search in the current document only. And what does it mean? It means the document where you're coming from. So I'm in synthesis and I open my search window. It means that I came from the synthesis. Sorry, here. So I open the search and it mentions search in the current document only. It means I'm searching only in the synthesis. So on the keyboard, I can press enter or on the left upper corner, I click on this little search icon. Now you see that I find 54 symptoms and let me go over it. Um, let me see if there's a better one. So yes, here, here's a general rubric, more head pain in spots. 
and it has uh, 37 remedies. So let me double click on this one. I double click and I go to synthesis to this rubric. Okay, let me take this one also. And I've shown you already, you can take a symptom by drag and drop. Okay, I will not do it now. Here in the left upper corner, you can click on the little triangle and you can take with an intensity. You see that take with the default option is the equal, or you can specify some options with F6. But you can also click on the main button. So if I click here on the main take button, you see that the symptom is added in the first clipboard because this is by default your standard clipboard, your default clipboard. So let's do another example. I want to find all symptoms in the repertory which have to do with uh, vomiting during pregnancy. I can press on the keyboard the question mark or the function key F4 or in the top search box I can also type. So I do here pregnant and I do vomit and enter and when I press enter again it starts my search and it opens this simple search. And you see by default, I have personally set search in the current document only. And I have 14 symptoms here with the combination of the words vomit and pregnancy. And if I double click on one of them, so for example here this one with uh, uh, 107 remedies, I double click on it and there I am. Okay, let me show you the advanced search. There's just a small difference. So if I click here on the little triangle and I click here on the advanced search, I come to this window. Now there's, they are located near to each other. I have here the magnifying glass with one dot. This is the simple search and this is the magnifying glass with three dots. This is the advanced search. So let me just here clear my search. Now let's do another search with more words. For example, you have a patient with a headache with a pain as if there's a nail in, driven in the head. So I type head, enter. Now you need to press enter again because you should do only one word per box. And here I do nail and we can try that or we can add another word. Let me do pain and I press enter and again enter. And if I press again enter, it starts my search and it's search in the current document only. That's the document where it came from. And you see, I find now all symptoms with a combination of three words. So nail, pain and head. And it doesn't matter in which order they are. Now you will see that, uh, let me see here, nails. And let me see if I can find another example. But you see that the word search tries to search for uh, variations of the word. So if I click here on the blue circle, you see that uh, the word nail automatically includes nailed and nails. And the same here for pain. You see that it automatically includes for the word pain, paint, painful, painfully, painfulness and pains. So remember to place only one word per box. Let me double click here and I go to the repertory. Let me do it again. So let's say I have uh, vesicles on the lips on the keyboard or I press question mark or I do F4 or I can use at the top this but I prefer question mark and I do vesicle vesicle and I do lip or lips doesn't matter enter enter and I get here 18 symptoms with the combination vesicles and lips so let me take this one I do here face eruptions vesicles lips I double click and I have here the 111 okay let me take this one also I drag it for example in clipboard number three now in the top menu bar, I click on the analysis button and it uses all three clipboards. If I click here on clipboard number one, I only use this one. If I click here, I only use this one. 
and here only this one. If on Windows I hold down the Ctrl key and on Mac the Command key and I click now on another clipboard, I can do any combination I like. So now I have clipboard number one and clipboard number three. Or if I hold down the Ctrl key or on Mac the Command key, I click on the third one, I have this one again and I can turn off that one and now I have only clipboard two and clipboard three. Okay, let's say I want to specify my search more. Um, I want to search for this uh, vomiting during pregnancy, but it is black matter. So let me try again. I do vomit, vo oh, vomit, uh, pregnant, and I do black, enter, enter. I see I do not find anything. Okay, then I can expand my search to go through all my documents I have. And I select here, search in the current document, I change it to all documents. So I click here on all documents, and I will search now through all items I have in the repertories and all items I have in references. You see them here in this list. You at the top normally would come the repertories, but nothing is found in a repertory. But there are Materia Medica, there are uh, Comparative Materia Medica Therapeutics Provings. I personally usually first check if I find a symptom in the Allen Encyclopedia. Actually, first I check if it's in Hahnemann Materia Medica Pura or Chronic Diseases, then the Allen Encyclopedia, which is listed under Provings, because the idea is that in the Allen Encyclopedia and in the Hahnemann, there is mainly original proving material. And then I look for the hearing guiding symptoms. So in this case, I see here hearing guiding symptoms. I single click on it and I read here, vomiting, food, drink, bile, oily, greasy or black substances. Okay, if I want, I can also add such symptom to my analysis. Now, in Radio Opus, there are two methods to save these analyses. One is if you use the patient file, but when you use the patient file, you do not need to save these uh, clipboards separately. They are saved automatically. Let me now first do the, a simple method. I have here those uh, three clipboards. I want to save them just under a simple name. I right mouse click on one of the clipboards and I say save analysis. I don't use this item or that item, but I use here the diskette. It is save current analysis to a folder. In fact, it's to save it separately outside of the patient file, not connected to one of the patients. So I can give it any name. I can give it, for example, a test, or I can give it a tutorial. So I give it the name tutorial. So I click on tutorial and I say save. Okay, now I want to clear my clipboards for the next patient. I do right mouse click and I say clear all clipboards and all my clipboards are now empty. Okay, if the patient comes back, I do right mouse click, I do recall analysis and I select again the diskette, recall analysis from a folder. This means that they were saved separately outside of the patient file. And I start to type here, tutorial, and this was the one, tutorial. I double click on it, and here I have my symptoms back. Okay, I think this was it for this video.